Okay, unfortunately, um, some guys banged up, obviously, from um, Saturday's scrimmage. So our numbers were a little down, uh, especially at running back, really with only two guys, and neither of them were full speed uh, with Curtis, um, you know, taking the, the most load of the day, um, and DJ being another healthy guy. So uh, I thought the offense outperformed the defense today. Uh, short yardage was six of six. We, two plays of over 50 yards, so that was good to see. Uh, obviously not very happy with that defensively. Um, and one of our goals to limit big plays this year. Uh, I thought that Curtis actually, um, you know, for having a, he, he messed his back up pretty bad Saturday, came in Sunday, got treatment, really um, could have been held from practice, but came out here practice extremely hard. As I've mentioned before, it'd be great to get him eligible um, so he could help us on special teams and offense as well. What happened with Xavier Grimble over the weekend? Yeah, Xavier, um, you know, had some chest and shoulder pains, um, so they took him in to check him out. Um, nothing severe. Um, we just had to limit his contact today. Hopefully, he'll be back later this week. Did, did you say um, McNeil is eligible, or we know we'd get... like him to? Yeah, we won't know anything until the end of the semester. It's all based off of this semester's grades. Any of those guys who were banged up Saturday? Any, anything like long term or? No, uh, Mark uh, has a concussion. He, he was um, he was tested. He wasn't very close to passing it, so you never know with that how long that could be. Um, Dylan's a high ankle sprain. Uh, TJ um, actually kept practicing after knocking his tooth out, um, but then they had to go in and they had to go in and dig it out and um, put some stitches in. So he so he wasn't able to practice today. McDonald. Yes. What, what happened to Drew McAllister? Drew's uh, hip, I believe. Um, uh, special teams towards the special teams part of practice there in return. Uh, spoken with Mark Keith, he looked like he was back out here doing some calisthenics and stuff. What's what's his situation and what did you? Those are calisthenics. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna try to go Tune through two and a half hours. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know he he made a mistake and he's a freshman and uh, we hope that he continues to you know grow and learn from his mistakes and. So obviously we didn't let him just come right back in. He spent two and a half hours today um, doing a lot of things that I'm sure weren't very fun for him. And so I mean, hopefully he'll mature. You know, he's, he's still in his first year of college. Well, how do you, in your mind, sort of figure out you know, what's the, you know, how many strikes are too many strikes for a kid versus let's stick with him and, you know, stay yeah, behind him? A lot of it has to do with what are the strikes. A lot of it has to do with is it affecting the rest of your team? Um, so you just have to, there's no exact rules for it, um, you know, because so many kids do make it, you know. The guy we just talked about was the MVP of the day, Curtis, was about as bad as we've ever had when he, we got here, um, as far as respect, as far as doing things right, accountability is why he ended up being eligible. Um, and he's night and day right now. He, I mean, he, he, he's, he mentioned to me today, he's going to talk to Mark, Mark Heath, you know, about how, how much better it is having a relief of doing things right as opposed to always being in the doghouse. So. Um, you know, it's, it's really neat when they change, you know, and it, it's hard sometimes to give up on them, you know, especially when you know the kids for a while and you know, um, you know what they're going back to. After watching the film Saturday, did anything jump out at you? Yeah, same thing. we got a really good receiver, a really good quarterback, a good left tackle, a good tight end, and a lot of holes to fill. Any of the three freshman tight ends standing up in the trio? Um, well, Christian got reinstated back, you know, after missing Saturday. I mean, they're just really different. You know, Xavier can practice today. Xavier's the best blocker. Randall's in the middle, and Christian's the, the best deep threat. So it's a really exciting group to have. You know, it's one of the few positions where you, where you look at, you know, to have four guys and three of them being their first year. Um, obviously, that's our goal to get get our whole roster like that. Can you evaluate the defense right now with guys out, especially the linebackers? I don't think you can evaluate the unit, you know, because so many guys out. Um, I think you can evaluate individuals um, that are practicing and that we're trying to improve and moving around on depth charts. And, but um, no, we won't know. We won't know how good we are for a long time, um, you know, because you know you're potentially missing all three starting linebackers, maybe, and you're going to have some freshmen in that front seven. I think we signed ten guys in the front seven. Some of those guys are going to have to play. I was looking through the numbers, uh, Matt in the fourth quarter of games last year, it was only like 45% completion percentage, you know, like 90-something pass efficiency. How would you evaluate his play in the fourth quarter of games last year? 
Yeah, I, I thought that it's interesting you said it because I thought that in the second quarter there were end of game scenarios that he was better at than in the fourth quarter. So um, we just got to get better as a whole. Obviously, something for him to improve on. And that's the next level of being a, a good quarterback to a great quarterback is finishing games off. Um, and, and we've got to we've got to make better plays around him. You know, there's a number of plays. You know, you can go right to that Washington game, two plays of six inches. You know, Osbury and Jordan Cameron. You know, to end the game. So. Um, we just got to do a better job. Is there just more pressure at the end of the fourth quarter than the end of the second quarter? Sure there is, yeah. That's that's it? I mean, that's not really news breaking. So but, well, 